Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, May the 2nd. Morning prayer begins on page 80. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord, Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips. Now I shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Psalm appointed for today is Psalm 45. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of man. Grace flows from your lips because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior. In your pride and in your majesty. Pride up, conquer the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The peoples are falling at your feet and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O God, endures forever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. And the music of strings from ivory palaces makes you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. On your right hand is the queen, adorned with her gold of oath. Hear, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. All glorious is the princess as she enters. Her gown is cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel she is brought to the king. After her the bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness they are brought and enter into the palace of the king. In place of fathers, O king, you shall have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. In these days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called his disciples and chose from them twelve, whom he named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter and Andrew, his brother, and James and John and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who is called a Zealot and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a betrayer. And he came down with them and stood on a level place with the great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured, and all the crowd sought to touch him, for the power came forth from him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on the disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. 
Blessed are you that hungry, hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and cast out your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For so their fathers did to the prophets. But woe to you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you that are full now, for you shall hunger. Woe to you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you who speak well, who men speak well of, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Canticle 13 and page 90. Glory to you, Lord God of our forebears. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and the life of the lasting Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Amen. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. That your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, whose Son, Jesus, is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit is alive and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that in this Easter season we may have the faith to know our Lord as risen indeed. O Lord Jesus Christ, through your rising again, hope has been renewed, joy has been restored, and life has been recreated for this whole world. Give us grace in this season of celebration to rise to you in our hearts, that with prayer and song we may re-echo that hymn of joy which your Easter began. O Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for your world. We pray for the unity of the peoples, for greater mutual understanding, and for a renewed desire for dialogue with one another. King of kings, whose spirit brings order, unity, and concord to all creation, bring together the divided nations of this world, that through loving one another and through respectful dialogue about our disagreements, all your children may be led to become people of peace, people of honesty, and people of hope. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. It's time to invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings.
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your grace, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.